Y'all see this on camera. I'm trying to leave out the door, get away from the situation and make things better for me. But um, I can't seem to uh, go. So when the police get here, you will see because I'm going to have to remove her from me physically. I'm trying to be polite and just walk out and, and, and have a great day. But um, she won't get off me. Can you please get off me? I'm asking Gary, her twice. I'm asking you to Can sit down. Can you please get off of me? Okay, I'm asking you to sit Can down. Can you please bro. get off of Gary, me? Gary, please don't put your hands. I'm, I'm begging you, please sit down, Gary. Please, please don't leave me. Please. please. You please, see this, right? Gary, Gary, you see this? Please, I'm stop. trying to go. Please. I'm trying I'm to go. Begging, look at me. Look at me. Look I don't want to be with you. I will give you whatever. I don't stop, want nothing stop. from you. I want to be away from you. Gary, I want my freedom please. from you. It's the date, Master, and we're back on this good Monday. Hope you guys had a great weekend. We're going to talk about an interesting video that you're going to see at the front of this video here. Where a guy, Beta, catches his chick cheating. You know the old, I'm breaking up with you. I caught you cheating. Rope a dope. She, she, she hugs onto him. Doesn't let him leave. So if he does leave and has to forcefully remove her from him and it gets physical she can then play victim and call the police now he goes to jail i did a video i think i may need to do a re uh, i mean i may need to do a more structured step-by-step -step process when you catch a woman cheating when you catch a girl cheating on you you do not respond emotionally you do not respond for the most part at all other than removing yourself strategically but a lot of the times you find this scenario with the shack up scenario and if he's leaving more than likely he's shacked up with her he's cohabitated and moved in with her to where she does not respect you in that position because this is not your shit so you have no choice but to leave anyway but when you if you catch a girl cheating you have to you have to be you have to take it in i know it's gonna sting i know a lot of you blue pill guys a lot of you guys haven't danced a lot with the women so when you do get a chance you think you found the one you put your heart and soul into her and she turns out to be just like the rest so when you find your girl cheating, you do not respond emotionally. You you have to do a slow burn, especially let's say in this scenario, you are shacking up. You have to do a slow burn, which is a way for you to get out and get all of your materials out without any physical confrontation. So with this, I would recommend you have to plan a, a weekend getaway. You have to be. You have to be witty. So you have to do something as if plan a plan a getaway. Uh have her away from the home for enough period of time that you can get your shit and move it to where you're gonna be moving to. But the common mistake you guys make is you go you, you want to confront them in person. You want to I caught you cheating, how could you do this to me? Because whenever you get whenever a person confronts a person about a scenario versus cutting them off, they want to see if the person is going to say or do something that's going to make them overlook the transgression. That's where you get this whole closure speech. So you're going to you're going to break up with me over text. You're going to do this over the phone. You're not going to meet me like a man respectfully. This is where you get the closure trap. So now they want you to meet in person because you owe her that much respect to meet her in person. Now you give her the opportunity to one, do something violent to you or two, manipulate you into staying into the situation that you know you need to get out of. And you're going to see this again with a lot of beta interactions. The moment you put yourself in that position to not be respected as a man is the moment you will be treated as such. So here you got this woman begging him not to leave. Begging him not to leave for for cheating on him. And he is 
Again, I'm trying to go. Um, he's playing this game. He wants her to do or say something that's going to convince him. And more than likely, if he doesn't have a place to stay or a place to go, he's going to be right back at her house. You catch a girl cheating, you do not respond emotionally. What you can do, I mean, you can do it a few ways to let it, whatever evidence you have, make sure it's documented. Make sure you have the, the, the physical evidence. The timeline matches up all the scenarios. If you reached out to her and she was unavailable, you have you got to have your ducks in a row. It, it, this case has to be foolproof um, in a sense. This is if you if you if you're invested, if you're not invested, you really don't. You can just get the inkling or you can just get, you know, some shady movement and you can you can do whatever you want to do. But have your ducks in a row that way, if you do want to inform the person that you know what she did you can again you have to be in the clear first have your shit out of the out of the crib already be removed and you can leave it as a nice present and then you block her on everything and let her know what you know you can go that route but a lot of guys tend to want to meet in person confront their girl about what they and they, and they know you, you know she's been she's been stepping out you know she's been stepping out on you but uh, the second part of this video is how should I treat hoes? There's this a lot of guys, you know, you look at the comments in, in, in some of these videos that you see with women, you know, like your Britney Renners, your women that have pretty much announced or I identified and accepted that they're hoes. They own their wholeness. You have a lot of red pill rage in the commentary. Men have a, a disdain for the, the beautiful whore because they know they will still sleep with her. They know that she still has the power of sexual seduction over them, which is why they're angry. I mean, you don't treat hoes any different than you would treat uh, a, a nice young lady. It's... Do you involve yourself with hoes is the question. If you do, you have to understand you, you you cannot treat her other than what she's being with you. You cannot turn her into a housewife. No, you have to treat her as such. You give her the same respect, the same decency that you would give any other woman. It is what you don't do with her versus what you do with her. No dates. We're not doing dates. We're not talking on the phone. We're not arguing with not it's not going to be any kind of emotional exchange it's not going to be any kind of emotional exchange once she puts herself on you as a hoe and not saying she's a hoe because she slept on the first date no when she only comes around she 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 see what women will do again you get this treatment when the woman is about her second turn to her hoe face she knows that this is pretty much going to be this. This works for her. She doesn't want to be relationship material. A lot of women are not going to be relationship material. They do not want to be committed to one man. So a lot of women get comfortable in this phase into only hitting you up on the late night or on a on a on a humbug. You can't get offended that she didn't blow you up all week. She she's telling you what she is to you. Therefore, you must treat her as such. What you guys tend to do, once you get your feelings involved, you want to escalate things. You want to escalate things to the next level because now you're attached. And she knew how to get you attached. She knew what to do to turn you out or to, you know, give you a pleasurable experience that you're going to want more. So when women are in this phase, what they're doing, they're pretty much putting sticky notes on the wall. And the sticky note with the best detail description price exchange they remain on the wall the longest the one the ones with the least amount of benefits they get taken off the quickest so you guys end up getting attached to these random hookups don't don't be that guy don't do that she's just yours for the moment enjoy her treat her respectfully but you it's the things that you don't do it's no dates it's no link it's no it's nothing out of what you have already established it's, it's nothing outside of that. But a, a lot of guys tend to, they want to run the reverse game so much and hurt the chick for men. What she is, is that's her nature. You don't need to be angry. You don't need to be frustrated. You don't need to be mad or triggered 
because that's what that's exactly what it is. You're just triggered because the last chick that you fell for was just as seductive, just as attractive. But again, that's just what they do. You can't get your feelings involved. You can't get your heart involved. Um, you don't treat hoes any different than you treat regular women or normal, uh, classy women. Again, you give them the same respect. It's just what you do and don't do that matters. Because what will happen is the moment you sh try to start treating the whole quote unquote, the 304, the way you would treat a, uh, wholesome young woman, she's going to be offended. She's going to be offended because she knows she doesn't deserve such treatment. She's going to be turned off because that's that's not who or what she wants to be with you. She doesn't want the she doesn't want the GFE. She doesn't want that. She wants to be treated how she pers how how she internalized herself to be. You cannot save her. You can't save her. She's done. Enjoy for the moment. Get your rocks off and get out. And um, like I said, going back to because the reason why these two titles tie together, because once you ch catch a girl cheating, she becomes a hoe. It's the same exact way. Once you catch her and once you confirm that she did what she did, you have to get away, disappear if you can. You have to have some charm. You have to have some patience. You have to know how to, you know, you have to know how to bake cakes. And baking cake is a phrase for making a scenario uh, covertly to where you can get away. You have to get away smooth because you see in these videos, you guys confront these women in person trying to get closure after you, you know, caught her cheating is very dangerous. Because once a woman gets found out, she will become dangerous and belligerent because now she's panicking. She's going to panic mode because her reputation is now at stake, depending on the type of guy. Normally, you see these crazy outbursts from the, a high profile guy that knows a lot of people because in her eyes, she knows his reach is far. And people are going to ask, where is such and such? Hey, what, what happened to such and such? Oh, you know, we, we, why y'all break up? Oh, I caught her cheating. She knows this. So she's more prone to lash out that you know a guy that doesn't you know really have that clout doesn't have that notoriety is not well known it may be a little bit more subtle but the higher level up you guys are you catch a chick cheating and you confront her in person the this is a possible outcome that she may lash out violently because she knows you have the potential to damage her reputation in your inner circle and around the city, if, especially if she knows you have the pool, she knows you have some sort of rank. But uh, yeah, man, let me know what you think about this video. It's a date master. We're back. It's Magic City Classic Weekend or week. For those who are in the Magic City, I'll be safe. Peace.